It's another week, and it means we have more rumors and speculation, really, to talk about. There's a few things that are, are humming in the background, which I'd love to talk about, mostly uh, in to do with a new plastic armor for the Horus Heresy, um, but this could lead maybe to 40k plastics as well with an armor and stuff like that mostly space marine stuff i want to talk about because the big space marine battle of ogram is about to end and we're about to get that range refresh revealed and it's looking like it is going to be space marines and i've literally heard some big big things in regards of new models for that space marine range so let's jump in and let's get waffling like we always do so let's start with those space marine rumors and i want to start with the big rumor that i'm hearing about and that is a chaplain in terminator armor which makes complete sense we've heard rumblings about this now but the rumor verse is really starting to kick this up apparently the really awesome thing about this chaplain in terminator armor is that it actually can be equipped with a shield a storm shield which if true that sounds absolutely amazing a crozius wielding shield chaplain just going in just smacking things in the head that is something that i've only dreamed about in my wildest dream so hopefully and um, that does turn out to be true i'm hearing like it has multiple head options like it can have like um uh like you know a half face half mask i think the reavers have something like that if i'm not mistaken of course the full chaplain you know skull um mask i'm even hearing that it's gonna have a multi-part crozius what the hell is a multi-part crozius varak apparently you can have different versions of the crozius Cro crozius so it's not just like one crozius and everyone's the same you can build it in different ways add different things to it like a nice little one a big one a fancy one stuff like that so if you if, if you want to go like very very ornate with your chaplain um then you can actually do that hopefully this does turn out to be true because i think the terminator range definitely needs these new characters now we need a new apothecary carrier um in terminator armor we've just got the captain of course we've just got the new terminator range um i want some more assault terminators the chaplain which i'm hearing about now added to that would be absolutely dreamland to add to this range refresh and carrying on from last rumor video i want to go back to the scouts and wasn't really certain if the scouts were going to be new models but i'm actually hearing now that they are they're indeed fully brand new models that are going to be launching with the kill team box set um towards the end of summer with everything else that's launching uh towards the end of summer apparently they're just like the black templar neophytes but a little bit different. Of course, they can't be 100% like the Neophytes because that would make them Black Templar Neophytes. But they're that kind of scale, that kind of looking new Scout models. Um, of, of course, since it's in a Kill Team box set, you're going to be limited to what you're going to be getting in terms of uh, weapons and stuff. I am hearing that apparently there's only like one sniper rifle attached to this new Scout sprue in the Kill Team box set. But I'm sure that's going to change once they get their own um kit whenever that comes out you know what happens with um kill team stuff that's out for like well a, a certain amount of period like three or four months and then the stuff in the box set start to get their separate kits and sprues and stuff like that and then you can start making your squads or whatever you want them um the way scouts are at the moment on the tabletop i think they're like one of the most powerful units really because you know they can't be shot out of a certain range and stuff like that taking objectives and stuff forcing your opponent to come fire and stuff like that um so i'm sure these will sell well and of course hopefully by then games workshop have sorted out their production issues and everyone will have a chance of getting this box set that box set of course is linked with the new eldar plastic uh, striking scorpions so i do think it's going to be a very 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 popular box set both for xenos players and space marine players so like i said fingers crossed we don't have those production issues now moving on to the second part of this video and this is where we're really going down the rabbit hole again i think i need my foil for this part of the video so for those people who don't know what's been going on with um horrors Heresy, they put out a release schedule i'll put the release schedule in the background right now and in the winter month there is a new plastic mystery armor that's coming out and from this there's been a lot of speculation uh it's apparently the imperial army people are saying uh sisters of silence custodies maybe demons some people have even said like um uh, xenos armies potentially could be getting some love in plastic you know who bloody knows now my theory on this is that it's going to be an army for both 30k 
and 40k. I don't see it as Marines. Marines have got enough, and I'm sure they're going to get even more because it is all based on Marines in the Horror Territory. I personally think it's going to be the Ad Mech because Games Workshop also put a release um, a timeline out for 40k, and this lines up with the Ad Mech coming out in winter time. The Ad Mech are supposed to be getting their new codex, and in winter time, the Horus Heresy is apparently getting a new plastic mystery armor, or you know, new st or old stuff getting plastic models. Now, I personally think it is ad mech because what you can potentially do then is take the ad mech stuff from 30k and then use it in 40k well you know a limited number of those models and that that way the ad mech in 40k kind of get like a brand new release brand new models um, that you can use in your army and games workshop people who sell these models like well it's free real estate for us because people are buying this for 30k and 40k there's like double the sales because people are using them in both game modes that's my take on it anyway. I'm probably wrong. It's probably going to be Imperial Army or Sisters or something like that. I just think it's too coincidental that both of these armies are lining up at the same time. And again, for me, it makes complete sense. Am I wrong at saying like the ad mech uh, shouldn't be able to use stuff from 30k and have some of the, like the resin 30k models uh, being made? Um, for the 40k line, more brand new plastic models. Like, how would you feel about that if you're an ad mech player? It could be dark, uh, Mechanicus. That could be absolutely amazing. I know a lot of people want dark mech in both 30k and 40k more. Uh, maybe if we start getting a lot more um, dark Mechanicus models, that m will make it, you know, Games Workshop could potentially put out a new codex um in 40k for for the dark mech because i know there's a lot of players that want like dark mech traitor guard and all those shenanigans happening in warmer 40,000. anyway that is enough waffling for me as always thank you for coming thank you for watching this video if you've got any thoughts feedback any questions at all post it down below i'll do my best to um uh, to, to answer you i know a lot of people keep asking me about primarchs there's a lot of stuff to talk about primarchs a lot of stuff <laughs> uh, but we'll leave that for another time, um, another day. Once I've heard a few more, a few more, a few more things in the foundation, right? We need we need the foundations to build on because we don't want this building to collapse, right? We don't we just don't want that, right? See ya. Have a great day. Enjoy yourself and bye bye.